Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. And tonight I'm doing something that, uh, a grape that I've done before, but I want to revisit. It is uh, Muscadine, and uh, see what Wendell has us, brought us tonight, and he's brought us the Muscadine. And it's Duplin Carolina Red Sweet Muscadine Wine, ABV is 12%. It is eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, Caroline Red is an old Southern recipe that blends our late harvest muscadine grapes. Gentle contact with the grape skins during fermentation produces this robust yet sweet red wine served chilled. Eight dollars and ninety nine cents, um, and it is from Rose Hill, North Carolina. I'll tell you a little bit about the. Uh, I've done another one if you want to check it out on this. Uh, a Florida Muscadine and a Florida wine uh, came in this lighthouse bottle, um, St. Augustine uh, Lighthouse. Um, check it out. Uh, but now I'm back with a uh, Muscadine from North Carolina. Um, I have some notes because it's a very, very interesting wine. Uh, first, the um, Duplin Winery, North Carolina, was established in 1975. It's family owned for three generations. Um, it's 100%, this is 100% Muscadine grape. Uh, another name for Muscadine is Scuppernog, and that's because it was first discovered along the Scuppernine, or excuse me, uh, Scuppernog River in North Carolina is where this grape was first discovered. Um, Vetus rotundifolia. It is a native grape to North America. It basically grows in the um, southeast. It can. It doesn't do well. It can grow in the Mediterranean uh, type climate, uh, but it doesn't do well because it's not as hot and it's not as humid as it is uh, where this naturally grows. Uh, probably from uh, North Carolina on down to Florida, and I think it might uh, Louisiana, maybe even almost to Texas, uh, parts of Texas. Um, let me see here. It's very old growing. I think the oldest uh, vine that they know of is uh, from 1584 in Roanoke Island. Um, it's a very hardy grape and it's used a lot as a grafter where they'll graft uh, different grapes on the uh, rootstock because I don't think this gets phylloxia and uh, it's just very hardy. Um, the grapes don't grow in clusters. They grow kind of individually maybe groups of one to three and they can get as large as a golf ball and they have to be hand picked um, which you think that would make it expensive but we'll get to why it's not here in a second um, the grapes usually go to three hundred three to four hundred dollars a ton whereas uh, Pinot Noir might be uh, two thousand dollars a ton so that's what the grapes uh, you can buy them for um, Bunch grapes, they usually harvest about eight pounds per vine. This grape here could do 60 to 90 pounds uh, per vine. So that, that's probably why now the price. This could grow up 35 feet in a year. Um, they call this a super fruit, this um, muscadine, because uh, I was, uh, the American Journal uh, of Clinical Nutrition uh, says that this is unbelievably high, high in polyphenols, um, which helps prevent cancer and cardiovascular disease. They have a whole article on it. Um, Reservatrol, which is anti-aging, anti-cancer, helps with diabetes, um, helps brain health, and works on obesity by working on fatty acids in the liver. Um, all red wines have it, but this grape has it in super abundance. And it is the um, only grape to have allergic acid, um, which a recent study at the Oregon State University. And I want to get this out because this is a cool thing about this grape. Um, did a study and found out that it targets uh, conditions related to obesity by reducing fatty acids liver again. Uh, and like I say, this is the only grape that has uh, that acid in it. Now that acid can be produced in wines that are aged in oak. Red wines that are aged in oak will produce that acid. And the acid is also found in raspberries, blackberries, green tea, 
walnuts and pecans but in grapes this is the only one uh, there's only somewhere between 3,500 and 5,000 acres of this planet you know worldwide um, and it's best drunk young because apparently it oxidizes quickly so uh, it's got a, a unique taste that uh, if you've never had it you've never had the taste it's like no other and so if you can find it, if you can uh, have it shipped to you or you live in one of these states you'll get it easily if not see if you can find it get it shipped to you and um, and check it out because I think it's worth trying and like I say it's native grape uh, corks a synthetic cork it's got a um, lighthouse a seagull it says Duplin cool sweet easy the other thing about this wine um, ooh, it's almost like a blush um, is it's they're trying to do the image of it because it's I guess it was considered a cheap wine in the day that a lot of people kind of made at home picked the grapes and made it at home and just you know basically guzzled it and got drunk off of it um, they're trying to take it more serious do drier versions uh, not add uh, sugar to it um, so this said uh, uh, Well, it said something that uh, that lent me to of why this one was sweet. Uh, Twelve percent. There's something in there that's. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it's a light, very light in color. Wow, that has a unique, and I mean a unique. And this one, it, it's different a little bit from this one. But, um, that, that wow. I used to. Um, Man, what kind of grapes did I used to grow? I used to grow some vinifera Limbrusca grapes um, in my yard. And when you picked them off the vine and you you, you smelled them, uh, especially if you bit into them or you peeled the skin off, this is exactly what this smells like. Um, wow, I mean exactly. I can't remember what kind I had out there. Three different kinds. It's been a while since I've had them. Uh, so it tastes like a uh, kind of a... Hmm. I don't say a wild grape, but uh, if you know the smell of North American grapes, <laughs> then this is what this smells like, just a raw, pure grape. See if I get anything else out of it. This one seemed to have, I don't remember right offhand, but there were, I think, different more flavors. I'm not saying it was better. Just remember there being uh, more more smell. Uh, this is a very intense smell. I think this has had more th things I identified in there. But this is very intense, and it, uh, if you're not used to this, if you've never had this, this is really going to throw you for a loop if you if you get a hold of this. I want to try. And Maybe a slight. And I mean, you have to work at it, but maybe a slight rubbery, diesel-y, um, not strong, not overpowering. I didn't get it at first. I'm trying to pick some stuff out of here. Besides that fresh, fresh grape smell, um, it's almost like a rubbery, diesel-y. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. That's all I'm going to go with. So let's see here. It's sweet. It's sweet. Uh, I did this at room temperature uh, down the basement here. It's a little cooler. I didn't want to bruise up any of the flavor. Um, it's got that wild grape taste. It's very sweet. It's got a little that diesel and rubbery, not overpowering. Not not really off-putting as odd as that seems. You kind of have to search for it and say, what is that? It's kind of blended in. And I'd say uh, maybe just a tad touch. Maybe some strawberry. Um, I would try it. I would definitely give it a try because... Actually, I'm going to try maybe some different ones because these two were totally different. 
Um, I would drink this. It's obviously it's a sipper. If you, you make it cold, you can put ice in this. Uh, you can make a reduction out of this. Um, sprinkle over like some ice cream. Uh, you can use it um, definitely as a spritzer. Uh, like I said, ice, you can chill it down real good and just drink it out in a, on a hot night or around the fire, however you like to sip something. And as far as um, with food, I would if you drink uh, soft drinks, then uh, you could drink this wherever you would drink soft drinks or sweet tea or something like that. Then you could just substitute this. So, uh, it's interesting and I think it's worth a try. So, from Hibbley Wine 101, folks, subscribe, share, and uh, give Duplin uh, Muscadine Grapes a try or any Muscadine Grapes. Cheers.